is my scrap pile of aluminum. Here's my Morris, yeah, trike. I uh, got headlight number one done, the bracket, last night. Now you can see it. You can see in there. And it looks good over here. So now I gotta make number two. Friggin' bamboo, you don't rip it up, it comes back fast. This stuff was all dead a week ago. Looked like it was dead. These ended up uh, a little short on the bracket, but that's okay. Uh, they were clamped in place, and all I gotta do is clean it up, clean the rust off, and put some weld on it. Not too shabby. Here is uh, headlight number two, which happens to be the passenger side. <coughs> if there was a passenger side on a motorcycle. Got our cross brace. We got everything welded here. Everything welded here. I'm missing one nut, so I'll have to get one. Um, welded my nuts in. I did find a 3816 tap to chase the threads after, because when I welded it, of course, the nut wanted to shrink and expand and mess with the threads and anything you put in it would just screw up so after I weld them in I chase them <coughs> that's it number two I'm gonna pop it in these are the two screws that hold it in one there one there from the bottom right through the C channel now this <coughs> excuse me a piece of angle iron goes from one side of the body to the other it ends at the uh, front of each fender as you can see number one is already in except the the screw bit still in the thing. That's where it went. I'm gonna put number two in, take some pictures, get my wrench out of there, and I'm going in. This probably took uh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. But both headlight brackets are done. I might sandblast them, paint them, powder coat them. Who knows? Just spray paint them. Here's number one on the right side if you're sitting on the bike. Here's number two. Now let me go inside. I gotta get off the ground. There's the two bolts. This is our new bracket. What I like too is when you tighten these down, it kind of pushes it into the hole. So it's pretty cool. Just a little bit. And the top of the glass just rides the edge. That's how I set it up. There's the other one. There's the bolts. Now I just gotta take them out, patch these holes. Patch those holes there. And the glass rides across the bottom nice. It's not crooked or nothing. Clamped in good. A little offset, not too bad. I got a little bit of more of a gap on the inside. What do I got on this one? A little bit more of a gap on the outside. Not a big deal. <coughs> if anything, <coughs> excuse me, I can slot these holes out a little bit and shove it over. <coughs> oh, I need a cigarette. But I don't smoke anymore. I quit three years ago. This uh, September 29th, 28th, been three years without the stink sticks. 
and I just quit cold turkey. All done. I mean, when it hurt so bad to cough, it just wasn't worth it. But I am all done. It is pouring out. Check this out. You probably can't see it too good, but it's raining pretty good. That's the wife's new car. There's the bamboo jungle over there. I did notice that they made these brackets. It's like a rod that goes from the top of that to the firewall. If I want to put some kind of a filler in here, like I'd love to put a piece of polished diamond plate or something in there before I button it all up. So I'm going to end up cutting these off and remaking them. Probably threaded rod or something, but no big deal. I'm going to cut them suckers off, get the bolts out of the way, a couple little things here and there. But that's it. I'm calling it a night because I have two headlights and I'm all done. Have a good night. Richard Peake made me do it. <laughs> a little battery charger. That's cool. Have a good night.